Hello everyone, I am Lorelei and I would like to welcome you to my creative corner here at LoreleiDesigns.com. This is my studio where I work, where I make samples, where I design up fun things to share with you and today I would like to show you my newest design collection of embroidery called Lovely Ladies. This is a lightly digitized open work set containing six ladies in their fancy gowns and lots of fun accessories such as flowers and frames which can be used in a number of ways, some of which I will show you. First of all, I made this fun, smallish wall hanging using the lovely ladies design. I stitched them out with metallic thread and shades of rose and chocolate as open work. Then I colored them in using my Copic markers. These are wonderful permanent alcohol markers. Then I bordered each block with a pattern of pink and brown, which comes from my Senior Prom fabric collection. And it just came out really cute, don't you think? Now what's fun about this is that you can highly customize this piece using the lovely ladies and turning them into your friends, your relatives, maybe even your stitching group, and have lots of fun with that. This fabric so assortment is actually a kit on the site, which is called the Lovely Ladies Wall Hanging Kit. Next I would show you an utterly charming shower curtain, which I made using the Lovely Ladies designs. I stitched out the ladies on a piece of white taffeta with blue variegated thread. Then I went on to color some of them using the Mycopic markers in a light blue shade. I bordered each block with a small blue print, sewed them together, added a ruffle on the bottom, and attached it to a length of white taffeta. I created a plaid effect using assorted shades and widths of blue satin ribbon. How fun is that? And simple to do, and would make a grand addition to any bath. Next, I will show you this wonderful framed needlework piece use, using the Lovely Lady's design. In this case, I stitched out the Lovely Lady from the set using a large piece of fabric, and I placed her high on the, on the fabric and left a lot of space down below. Then I went back in with free motion stitching and added this really elaborate, fun skirt. Then, using my markers, I went in and did a shading technique to color her. So it's pretty quick, it's simple, and it's a lot of fun, and you can get a larger effect than your 5x7 embroideries using this technique. Now that could go on the wall in that bathroom, and you're looking really fancy. I have another way now to show you that's a little unusual that I just think is wonderful, and I call it my Shady Ladies. Yes. This was, at one time, a simple, inexpensive white lampshade, which I bordered with inch and a half lace to make a nice scallop frilly edge. I stitched out the lovely ladies, so it can be done on paper or on fabric. I colored them with my markers and attached them each to a frame. Now it looks great with or without the light on, I think. And if I wasn't showing you this sample, of course, I would have put one on each panel, so you would stitch out four ladies. Now that's another subject. These ladies stitch out in less than 20 minutes, usually. So it's just a quick, simple project with a lot of effect. Put that in the bathroom now, and you're really, really getting upscale. Now the next way I would show you to use the lovely ladies is my most current obsession, which is in card making. This is too much fun, it's a very small project, and it's something you share with those in your life that you love and want to communicate with, so it's just a grand way to do that. This is stitched out in metallic thread, in this case on white taffeta, and then I colored it using my markers, and then I cut it out really close. Now what's really fun about this is, if you attach it with removable double stick tape, the recipient can just pull her off of there, place her on her fridge, on her mirror, in her life somewhere, because you sure wouldn't want to throw that away. Of course, the variations are absolutely unlimited with this. You can use, do it in fun pastel, and this is colored, this is done on paper and colored from the back side. Here we have a darker color, more like a almost a Mardi Gras looking color scheme. 
color, kind of an unusual. This is a charcoal color stitched out with silver thread. Here are a couple of designs from my So Fancy collection. A cute little pin cushion, which I added a few sequins to. And this is a dress form, sequins and ribbon. How fun is that? All those special sewing friends of yours would love to get this card with a sparkling silver dress form or a cute sparkling pink sequin sewing machine. Scissors. This design is from my Open Work One collection, which is a beautiful flower. How about that for a beautiful wedding card? More dress forms. You can see I love dress forms. This is blue to go with our bathroom again. And a lovely sage green with some Aurora sequins. And this is for that golden stitcher of yours, your favorite granny stitcher that is elderly. And this is her golden stitching card. So that's a really, really fun and quite unlimited way to use the lovely ladies. And then the last way I would show you today is something that's just too much, too much. These are what I call vintage hanky dolls. And in this application, I have sewn out the lady, colored her using my Copic markers, put a coordinating piece of paper on the back so she's two-sided. And then I have stuck, uh, taken that precious vintage hanky and poked it up for a really cute skirt. These are just the char most wonderful things. And they, if you put them on a, on a little cone, they will stand up like so. You can place them in a frame, make a composition of a couple of them in a frame on the wall would be very cute. Here's a beautiful pink one. And the really fun thing for me with this is you can take the design of this beautiful hanky and pull the colors from the hanky up into your design using the threads and the colors of your markers. And you can make a one-of-a-kind, only one on the face of the earth project with this. You can customize them for your friends. And here again we have a ret return to our blue theme here with this lovely bathroom. How cute would that be sitting there on the shelf in your ladies' room? And it almost makes a great little puppet. Yes, a puppet. So that is the lovely ladies. I want to tell you, of course, that these this design technique using the open stitching and the coloring and cutting and the paper and all of it works beautifully on my other open work design sets such as Fo So Fancy, Desi Open Work 1 and 2, and Bloomers. So I hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. I hope that you will want to try this technique and have the, all the fun that I do using the lovely ladies' designs. So come back and see me sometime. It's been fun having you. Bye-bye!